fire truck say? Today is gonna be a great day. First of all, I'm gonna post Colleen's Corner, which a lot of you have been asking me to do for a really long time. And so I'm sure some of you will be happy about that. Even most of you will be like, this is boring, why is she doing a Q&A? Some of you are gonna be like, finally, she does a Q&A. And so that's my main channel. If you haven't seen it, I've posted that. By the time you're watching this, it would've been yesterday. But also, last night, if you watched my vlog yesterday, last night I watched a bunch of, I watched, I read a bunch of letters from you guys. And they were so sweet and put me in the best mood. And one in particular that made me really happy it was from this woman named Linda, and she was like, I'm so proud of you for cooking every day and for learning to bake bread. You need to make other types of bread. And so today I'm gonna try a new bread recipe because of Linda, so thanks, Linda. Um, first, I need to post Colleen's Corner. Okay, Linda, I'm taking your suggestion. I'm making some bread, and today I'm gonna challenge myself. I've been wanting to make challah bread this entire quarantine, but it's always been too daunting because of how long it takes for this dough to rise. Every type of dough that I've made this quarantine doesn't really take very long to rise. I'm like a very impatient person. So we're probably gonna be having challah bread with dinner, but that's okay, I'm going to make it. So I'm excited, and let's get started. The King Arthur Flour uh, website, which is what Linda said had a lot of good recipes. So first we're gonna mix all the dough ingredients together. So first is half a cup of lukewarm water. Six tablespoons of vegetable oil. One, two, three, four, six. We need a fourth a cup of honey. Alrighty. Two large eggs. Love you. Can you get that for me? Hold that. Thank you, Flynn. All right. <laughs> Good job, baby. Can you do this one too? No, love. Okay, Flynn, can you help me jump this in? Whoa. One tablespoon of instant yeast. That was four cups of flour we put in. And one and a half teaspoons of salt. Oh God. Yeah, you wanna help? Yeah. Hi, baby. I love you. Yeah, I'll pick you up in one second. What? So then I have to let it rise for two hours and then we do a bunch of other stuff. Here we go, I'm doing it. I'm making hot. Okay, so I made the dough. Doesn't look like any kind of bread dough I've ever made before. It's really dense. It looks like cookie dough or like, it's thicker than cookie dough. It's like a sugar cookie dough or a Play-Doh. So I don't know if I did it wrong. I needed it for a while because that's what a video said online. I'm trying to learn. So now it's sitting for two hours and then we do more things. If you saw my vlog yesterday, you would have seen Flynn yelling while reading a book. I think now it's just his new way of talking because now all day today she's like, Dad! So TikTok made me buy it. <laughs> so we're gonna try it. It's a little washing machine that washes your beauty blenders. And I never wash my beauty blenders. This one's actually pretty new. Um, and we're gonna try to wash my beauty blender. Oh, she's so cute. What is this? Oh, it needs a AA battery and a screwdriver to be continued. So here we got the batteries in there. And I guess um, this will drain it afterwards. They came with no instructions. So I'm just making this up as I go. So I'm gonna pour in a little bit of warm water and some soap. You're supposed to use face soap, but I don't have face soap because you think I wash my face, like let's get real. So I'm just gonna use hand soap. <laughs> That's enough water. Okay, oops. Close it up. It doesn't like click shut. Should I be concerned about that? Okay, now I'm gonna push the button. <gasps> oh my god, that's so cute! 
I feel like it's doing nothing, but it's really cute. How long does it go? My cat's interested in it. It's been a couple of minutes, so let's turn it off. Wait, did it work? It kind of worked. Ew! It just cleaned like this section. How weird. But it totally is cleaner than it was. That's wild. Let's look at the water. Ew! Looks like coffee. It kind of worked. It just didn't clean this spot and this spot. I wonder if I did it again, if it would clean these spots. Or if it only cleans this spot. I don't know. That's so bizarre. So apparently this drains it. So, here we go. Oh, there she goes. Ew, look at that makeup water. Oh my god, that was so nasty. Okay, I'm gonna try putting it in like this way as much as possible and see what happens. It's kind of in there sideways now. Put some water in there. <gasps> oh, Shiza, this is not up. Throw the soap in there. Close her up. Oop. Okay, now it's not spinning. I think it, this was a horrible idea. Okay, hold on, I have to readjust. Here we go, this is the second round of cleansing. <gasps> it's clean, oh no it's not. Ew, there's a hair on it. You know what though guys, like honestly, this thing is stupid, but it also kind of, it did a pretty good job cleaning it. It doesn't clean the very tip and it doesn't clean like a random strip right here, but it cleans it way better than when I clean my beauty blenders, which is never. This is better than the alternative, which is just using the same nasty beauty blender over and over and over again and never washing it until it gets so gross that it stinks and I have to buy a new one. This is pretty good. I definitely don't think you're supposed to use hand soap because I'm probably gonna break out now if I use this again. Oh, and it's definitely leaking. 100% it's leaking. But it totally kind of worked. Like, it doesn't do a great job, but it does it better than what I would do, so this is a win for me. So I wanted to make enchiladas tonight because it's easy, and the only thing that's not easy about it is making the chicken ahead of time. So I ordered a rotisserie chicken from a Postmates type of place, and they were like, got your order, everything's good to go, and then I just checked and it's on the way here, and it was like, oh, but the chicken was out of stock. It was the only reason I ordered groceries. It was the only reason I wanted to make enchiladas because I thought, well, if I get a rotisserie chicken, it'll be such an easy dinner. It's not to make chicken. So I'm gonna throw it in a crock pot because it's the easiest way to do it. It's not the most delicious way, but it is the easiest way. Things aren't going as planned. Just that though, everything else today is going well. Well, except for the fact that I think I did the bread wrong. So it's still rising. It has 18 more minutes to rise. And then I roll it out. I think I braid it. And then I have to rise, it has to rise again. I don't know, there's a lot of steps to holla. But right now I need to make chicken. Okay, it's been a couple of hours. I'm going to try to do a six strand loaf, which seems more complicated, but that is me. I like to complicate things, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So basically, I know I did something wrong because the dough like won't stick together. Like you see these little like creases in the dough. See these, like how it breaks apart. It's not supposed to do that. It won't stick together and I don't know what I did wrong. I'm gonna go with it and see what happens. That's time to braid. Awful. And why is it so small? I definitely did something wrong. I don't know what to do. Oh, well, I'm gonna keep trying, but it looks like trash. Now it has to rise for two more hours. We're not gonna eat this till midnight. Oh my god. Okay, so it didn't rise very much. I could let it keep rising, but I think it's time to just do it. It said 90 minutes to two hours, and it's been like in between that. So I'm gonna brush it with an egg wash and put it in the oven and see what happens. Here's the bread. It doesn't, it didn't rise very much. It didn't fluff, so I don't know. If, it's probably gonna be dense. I'm already prepping for disappointment. Oh look, you can see my bruise coming through. Um, anyway, I'm going to cut it open. Let's see. Oh, she's dense. Ooh, very dense. Not fluffy at all. Ew, it's like a sponge. Ew! It doesn't smell good either. Not good. Bam. Dang it. That took all day. Do you see why 
Bread is so frustrating and like when no one wants to make it from scratch is because it takes your whole entire day and if it doesn't work, it's infuriating because you waste your whole day and a bunch of ingredients. So Linda, I tried and I failed miserably. I'll try a different kind of bread tomorrow. This one did not work, disgusting. Bread makers, let me know what I did wrong. I followed the ingredients exactly to a T that were on the website, the King Arthur's Flour website. I don't know what the heck I did wrong, but clearly I did something wrong. Fluffy Picasso. What's it doing? Trying to paint. Supposed to do like Bobby. Supposed to like talk. Jerk. Talk about what you're doing as you do it. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just a little cloud in there. Just have a little no mistakes. Just kind of go for it. Just whatever you do. I don't know what I'm doing. So Here are these. There's a lot more work to do on it. I still have to. So I still have to fix this whole section. I still have to do the cliffs. I still have to put rocks all here. Trees up here. There's a lot more to do. She's an artist. I'm not an artist, but Eric just hated. That was a painting that was in our living room of like trees, like a silvery glittery tree forest. But I bought the store and he said it looked like a death forest, like a scary movie forest. So we changed it to now. It's kind of supposed to be the Santa Barbara cliffs. We just watched Expecting Amy. There's chocolate milk because I just ate a cookie. Are we surprised? Which is Amy's three part series on HBO Max about her pregnancy and then birth. What did I say? You just kept saying Amy is a Oh, Amy Schumer. Yeah, Amy Schumer. Sorry. <laughs> like, we're on a birthing dance and we're best friends. No. Amy Schumer, the famous genius comedian. It is so good. It's so good. She had a really, really difficult pregnancy and she shows all of it like the horribleness and the and the misery and the beautiful parts and it's just like the coolest. It's so good. I feel like it's rare that you see women openly talking about the challenges of pregnancy. It was super relatable, I mean for us, because she filmed a comedy special while pregnant and I was like, I don't know any other women who have done I'm Well, I guess Ali Wong did it twice and she had a really supportive partner through it all, which obviously can relate. Just like seeing her be a comedian, continuing to work through an excruciatingly difficult pregnancy pregnancy made me go like oh my gosh like it was just brought back so many memories of being pregnant and having it be super painful and hard but still going on tour and still working every day like that was such a hard time and to see her talk about it be and be open and honest was really great because I feel like I got a lot of backlash for being open about how difficult my pregnancy was and I think the reason for that is one because there are women out there who can't get pregnant and would do anything to be pregnant I feel so terrible for them but two too, because women are taught that you're supposed to only be grateful for being pregnant and you're never supposed to complain. So to normalize like, hey, pregnancy is really hard and women need more credit for it. And every woman's pregnancy is really different. So even though your pregnancy might not be that bad for other women, it is actual garbage trash and it's worth it but it doesn't make it easy. And it was just really nice to watch someone who I respect and admire and inspires me a lot kind of go through a similar thing. I mean, hers was, in my opinion, way worse than mine. She was in the hospital a bunch and was vomiting like every day and had to get IV drips constantly. Two um, lines that stuck out were like, when she was like, men are bonk. <laughs> yeah, she was like, men are bonk. Right after she had the baby, it was so, I was like, yes, it's so good. And then, uh, when, she, when she was like, uh, it was so horrible and I would have gone through so much worse. Yeah, yeah, I cried. I was like, yeah. Yeah, she's like, it, I would have gone through so much worse to meet him. And I was like, yes, yes. It was the worst nine months of my life. Easily, hands down, the hardest, not the worst, the hardest, most painful nine months of my life was my pregnancy. I would go through it again and I would go through 10 million times more. I will cry right now saying it just to meet Flynn. Like, I would do. Yeah. Oh my God, I would do it all. So the, yeah, that was, yeah, good point. Worth watching. And she's really raw about it. So you see her body, what she goes through. You watch the C-section, like you watch the baby come out. She shows her body through the whole thing, which I think is amazing and shows how awesome and badass women are and how incredible their bodies are. And yeah, I just, I loved it. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Highly recommend. So we just watched that. And now I'm watching Ants. This is where we're at with the ants. And they're slowing down, love. I don't know why they don't want to do this section. Like, why are they so rude about this section here? On the back. Yeah, on the they, back. They, they have a whole, oh, like, yeah. back, back road system. Yeah, so they're like, we don't need connects. to do it up here. Mm -hmm. Let's go set them free tomorrow. No, they bite, love. Well, not here. Not, like, in our yard. Oh, yeah, maybe somewhere, but they bite. I'm excited to finish this bad boy. It's very dark. It's darker than I thought. Anyway, I'm 
I'm really tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, the painting is dark. I wanted it to be like light and bright and airy. We're going upstairs and going to bed because I'm very tired. Um, okay, bye.